injuries and PTSD, and they're searching the internet for help. Well, many find themselves coming here because a local doctor is offering their only hope. Now 50 people will get free treatment as part of a study funded by Congress. Medical reporter Meg Ferris has the story. Good girl. This retired Marine received the Purple Heart. Shondi saved lives and limbs finding IEDs in Iraq and Afghanistan. Now she suffers from the mental consequences of war. You can see her, her physical reactions to uh, doors slamming and, and loud noises, and, and it's, it's a completely uncontrollable uh, shaking and anxiety. So does handler Marine Gunnery Sergeant Chuck Rottenberry, since an IED exploded that, near him. The first couple uh, of weeks, you know, I spent kind of in a fog, and I didn't realize uh, until I got over the initial um, stress or, or the, the initial uh, symptoms that I realized how bad I felt. Chuck suffered traumatic brain injury, or TBI, causing migraines, sleeplessness, confusion, the loss of short-term memory, motor skills, cognition, but and since the brain creates behavior, just, the damage uh, caused mood swings, cosmetic, outbursts. His marriage suffered. With my wife, I was pretty withdrawn. Well, it took her a while to understand, you know, just how bad things were. If There wasn't much in the line of treatment at the VA. The biggest thing is counseling and medication. Then Chuck's wife saw a story about hyperbaric oxygen treatments for the brain. Dives in these high-pressure tanks have long been approved to heal skin tissue and diabetics. But despite long-standing doubts by some in the medical community, LSU Health Sciences Center's Dr. Paul Hart says his scientific data show specific doses of oxygen can help heal brain tissue, too. We were shocked when we applied this to the first patients who were Louisiana boxers uh, 23 years after his last bout. And this man made a substantial improvement, and we saw it on the imaging. Chuck traveled from his home in Virginia Beach to New Orleans for several weeks of daily treatments. My mood starts to change, you know, everything, my sleep improves and I get rid of these migraines. That's where he met retired U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Talisa Sobel from Patterson, Louisiana, suffering from a rape and a brain injury in Korea in 1991. You try so many different things, the VA just throws medication at you. I've been going to the headache and pain clinic in Gray for, since 2005. I've gone to the chiropractor, it, this was like my last resort. But she had no money for the treatment. She'd lost balance, falling on stairs in the tub. She was losing her family, friends, and marriage. She tried to commit suicide. Because I felt like I was a burden to my family. And I was tired of the pain. And, and it was like a divine intervention. The intervention came when she found Dr. Harch on the Internet. His office linked her up with Chuck who got her funding from a stranger. I've had pressure constantly for like 20 years behind my left eye. After the first treatment, the, the pressure was gone. Just, it was gone. I feel like me again. After the treatments, her marriage ended, but she has hope for her young son. This is gonna make me so much better because, you know, now I can be that fun mom that, you know, he deserves. Now Dr. Harch got a congressional appropriation to do a study of hyperbaric oxygen on veterans and civilians with mild TBI. We're looking to see if we can improve their symptoms and quality of life, their degree of depression, and their cognition, their ability to think. And here's the good news for those of you who want to see if you qualify for this free study but you're out of town. You can be evaluated and interviewed over Skype or FaceTime. Dr. Hart says an Israeli study duplicated his findings showing improvement with mild TBI. Now people like this car wreck victim from the Netherlands come for treatment. Her family says now she communicates pointing to letters and can swallow no longer needing a feeding tube. Chuck and Talisa are each back home. Talisa now rekindling a relationship with a beau from decades ago and thankful for the treatment that brought them together. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. The study is free to anyone who has had mild traumatic brain injury in the last 10 years. To see if you qualify, just go to our website, wwltv.com, for more details.